What up? Um, let the vlog begin. Great, like I can care less about. Alright, so real quick, when I was recording the video you're about to see next, the reverse camera, that was before I put the rear seats in. So it's gonna, it might be a little confused. I'm just making sure y'all understand. That was before we fully put the seats in. So uh, the last previous video got a little long and I didn't want it to be um, super, super long. So we just did what we had to do with that. So now you're gonna see a video from the past and then we'll catch up when we're fully, fully installing it. And also too, man, please make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to 600 subscribers. We're literally already at the halfway mark. So I'd really appreciate it. Let's keep it going. The goal is a thousand, so the sooner the better. Appreciate y'all. Let's get it. All right, so while we let all that dry, we're gonna do something a little bit fun. I've been meaning to put this in for a long time now, but basically, um, this screen, when I bought it, I also got recommended a reverse camera, which is something a little bit more modern for the car, and I have it here. Um, I was actually going through all my stuff looking for it. I have it, there's a lot of cording here. We're gonna plug this up today and see if I can get it to work. It's a uh, little simple stuff though. I do have to wire it to, I think it was like the reverse light to get it to power and stuff like that. There's like an instruction manual, so just follow along with me. Obviously this isn't a how-to or anything like that, but just uh, let's see if we can get this get this going. All right, so first things first, we have to pop out the back of the screen. And basically it's a lot of wiring. It's super simple though, thankfully. This is the cord that we have to plug into the stereo and then the rest of the wiring stuff goes all the way to the back of the car. All right, so don't mind the mess back here. This was, yeah, don't mind it. So I got the wire, I got it wired up in the front. I had to wire the cables all the way here to the back. This one specifically, I have to take these two wires and wire them to the reverse light, which is, these black and red ones right here. So I'm gonna have to kind of make a, not a cut necessarily, but just expose the wire on both of these and then wrap them around. And then that way the power to the camera should work properly. And if everything goes well, when I connect them and go into reverse, I should be able to see on my camera the reverse light. If I can, it's gonna be so cool. So fingers crossed on that uh, but first we got to expose that wire a little bit all right so this is the way that i did it um whenever i need to get to an exposed wire basically what i'll do is i'll take like a lighter or something like that i'll heat up the cord and basically what it does is it melts it melts the cord itself but the, you know the wiring is good heat's not really going to do any damage to it but it's enough to be able to get the adhesive off and now you see i got exposed wire so now i can take this oh, i can take this black end match it up with that, wrap it around it, and then take some electrical tape to wrap it up to close it to make sure it's nice and tight and you don't have to worry about it uh, being exposed or anything like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, it's kind of hard to record in this corner, so I'm just gonna catch up once we uh, finish up here and then go from there. Now, I just wanna make this clear. This isn't a how-to video. This is just me showing you guys how I'm doing it. I don't recommend you guys following me just in case I'm doing it wrong. I don't wanna put anyone in danger, anyone in harm. I'm just showing how I'm doing it personally myself. Okay, just want to make that clear so no one's in the comments like I blew my car up <laughs> or something went wrong. You know what I mean? I mean, we're just hooking up a backup camera, but still, I just want to make sure that we're clear. It's not a how to video, I'm just showing you how I'm doing it and the stuff that I learned in the process. So, yeah, all right, so just so we're clear, I got them both attached like I said I would, and then we just put the electrical tape around both of them so that way it's nice and safe. You don't have to worry about exposed wire touching anything or other touching other wires, but this is all good now. This is nice and tight how it needs to be, all right. So so now that everything's plugged up and connected, we're gonna turn the car on, you know, put it in reverse and see what happens. So let's uh, hope for the best. I'm gonna set it up just like that so that way it's facing a certain way so that way I'll be able to see it once we, uh, you know, do our thing. All right, so if everything went well, I should be able to do that and then no signal still. Okay, so something else is missing. Something's not right. <sighs> Okay, I'm stupid. I have to figure out where to plug this in. This is the triggering wire, the red triggering wire. The manual said to connect it to the, um, aux right out. Said to connect it to the, um, <laughs> so good news. Um, 
I figured everything out and it's working. So let me explain really quick. Plugging it up into one cord, wrong cord. There's actually an additional cord that came with this screen that was made specifically for reverse cameras. And I was looking everywhere for it. I found it. I didn't want to record myself just looking for something, but I found it. Um, this is just a test. I didn't wrap it up, obviously, because I wanted to make sure it was the right one. But it's a separate plug I had to plug into the screen and it's literally perfect. Like it fits this how it's supposed to and I was supposed to hardwire it directly to it, right? So watch this. You see the cam still facing out, out into the light. All right, I know it's kind of loud, um, but if I do it, <laughs> I got the reverse light. I got the reverse light. What? If I leave it like this, is anything gonna happen? No? What? Hold on. Now, if I'm being honest with y'all, the quality is trash <laughs> it's like that's my truck there on the side the quality is od trash but it's okay it's good it's just to be a reverse camera i don't care about it being you know 4k resolution or anything as long as i can see behind me when i'm trying to park we're good to go i just want to verify really quick that i'm not tripping right because that definitely looks like my rear view like behind me right hold on let me let me get it right for you guys hold on for a second Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Champ, you already know. Make sure that you guys go ahead and drop that like. So just, you know, click right there. That's all you gotta do. And then scroll all along over here, hit the subscribe, and make sure I hit the notification bell. Click on all so you get all the notifications. Let's get back to the video. I love y'all. We out. Just uh went for a drive. You can probably hear it. Mobile stuff coming to. <sighs> now, for me, this is definitely going to be fun and new for a lot of you guys. So, if you are brand new to the channel that subscribed and watched the interior build, please, please, please go check out some of my older videos. I have this video here where I did the alternator. I literally took this whole piece apart and I did it. I also did the valve cover gasket. That's another video that's right here as well. And I just want to make that known because I do do other work on this car. And if you guys are brand new, you probably have never seen the older videos unless you've gone back and watched it. And if that's the case, then I appreciate you. But now it seems that we're starting to get into the nitty gritty, the good stuff. So this car is like 24 years old and um, it definitely is time to start hauling and getting everything in here together. That previous clip you guys saw, my coolant is having issues. We got some steaming issues, some sizzling going on, and the car is actually overheating now. For when I finally got the car together and we were doing some driving and stuff like that, everything was fine, but now it seems that we're getting to that point where we need to take care of it all. So first things first, I need to back the car up a little bit because I have no space right here to really work. But we're gonna take the air filter out so we can kind of get a better idea of what's going on with this coolant because overheating is not gonna be fun. <laughs> Man, it is a mess over here. I need to clean all of this up. Anyway, this is definitely much better now. We need to get some tools together so we can pop this air filter out and see what we're working with here. Now I know at the end of the day, we're probably gonna have to overhaul all of this stuff. But for now, just so I can get the car moving, if I can just get rid of or fix whatever the main issue is for now, I'll be happy, you know? Pop, pop, there we go. That to the side. Go. Now, we got to this, and then there's two clips right here, so. This one, there we go. Just like that, we got the air filter out. It wasn't a problem. All right, so after I take a deeper, deeper look into it, it might be kind of hard to see, hold on. All of this right here from a long time ago, my belt snapped and it got like chewed up a little bit and it started spraying all over the place. So it's definitely there. Um, what I'm seeing prominently right now is this tube right here. You can see all that like residue that's left over on it. And then the one below it as well has that residue on it as well. Um, those connect directly to the radiator. You can see kind of like right there. That's what they stick to. And then of course we have the expansion tank. This is like I said, a brand new one that I put in a long time ago. Um, 
so there shouldn't be any issues with it um, but I guess you know once I really get in there I'll be able to see and really understand what's going on my guess is I'm probably gonna have to get rid of the radiator and put a brand new one in I kind of expected that that was literally one of the things I knew I was gonna end up doing eventually. Just cause I wanna do a turbo build on this at some point and I really need to make sure the cooling and all that stuff is in order and intact. So might take the expansion tank out. Yeah, maybe we can start with that. I'm not sure if it's because they're touching each other, but there was smoke. You guys heard the video I sent when it was like sizzling and stuff. There was smoke and stuff happening right here. So I'm not sure if it's because they were touching or what's going on. All right, so real quick, in this part of the video, I was talking about taking the whole radiator and everything out. We're not gonna be doing that. I said I was going to, but we're not gonna do it right now. I need to order a radiator first, order my new lines and everything, and then we will take care of that. So for now, I'm just voicing over because that's what I was gonna say in the video. And I didn't wanna cut out the entire part. Um, just to explain to you guys what's going on. Um, so we're not gonna do that. We are going to be working on that very soon, but for now, that is not what's happening. And yeah, just had to preference that so you guys understood and we'll be get back to the video. Let's go. All right, so I got home kind of late and unfortunately I could not get the jack right now. So what we're gonna do is actually finish wiring the um, camera today. Um, first I have to figure out how to get the wires from here to here and then from there, I gotta figure out where to mount it. I'm thinking maybe like here on the side I don't, I can't do the center because of the button being right there. Maybe right there. I don't know. Also, my only other thing is too, is I just don't want like that factor of um, it showing too much. Like it's gonna be discreet, but I just don't know how discreet, you know what I mean? Put it off right, but this is literally like the oldest thing in the car, look at that. One of the pieces like broke off on the inside. <laughs> so I can take this off now, but I can't screw this piece back in. Great. I'm honestly just going to have to have, to have the cord dangle, unfortunately, because there's not really any other way I can do it. Uh, but I will what I will do is kind of stuff it behind something so that way it's a little bit more Clean it's just gonna be one cord dangling <laughs> Which I uh, kind of hate but It is what it is the goal is to try to make it as clean as possible, so really drilling into like the trunk itself it's really just like this piece right here it's made of plastic so I'm gonna be honest with you guys it isn't that pretty because it's tappers probably just gonna spray them black but for now just for like test fitting and everything it fits in there it's not moving it's nice and tight so let's uh let's test it out really quick <sighs> wow that really sticks out I <laughs> don't know if I like that uh, it's like massive. You can literally see it. Um, we might have to figure out something else to cause it's literally huge. Like, what's going on? I don't know how I feel about that, guys. I mean, it's cool that I rewired it and everything, but I just feel like that one little block is just sticking out. <laughs> like, that's literally gonna show so much, even when it's flicked up like that. Like. I don't know guys, you tell me what you think. In the comment section down below, how do we feel about it? I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that happy with it. It does not look that great. I don't know, maybe I'm just being picky. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I'm gonna put my drill right here and leave the tripod literally right about there so that way we have something to look at. I'm sorry if the content isn't as interesting. We just came into this part where we're basically done with the interior, so it's not much else to do here besides a little miscellaneous stuff. Still waiting to do the headliner. We got something really cool coming with that. And then of course, you know everything with the radiator that's coming now in the future. All right, so if everything goes well, 
hard to see. There we go. We can see clear as day. I can see my rear. You can see the uh, drill, my tripod. It's all set now. So we're. I mean, we're good. It's just the fact that it sticks out so much. It's even like really, like really perfect. I like the way it sits. Hold on. All right, man, well, that's gonna be all for today's video. And I know before any of you guys say it, I know my tags are expired. Don't worry about that. This car has been sitting for a long time, so I just haven't taken it to go do what I gotta do. I will, don't worry about that. <laughs> the point is, is this camera and the coolant today. I just wanna know what you guys think about this camera situation. I'm 50-50 on it. Again, it just feels like it's sticking out. Like, the car overall looks amazing. Like. Yes, just that one thing that's gonna catch your eye. You're like looking at the whole car and then it's like, boop. I don't know, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Got more content coming for you guys, of course. We're just pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. But until next time, we're out. I'm